history at the Vatican tomorrow where two popes will be elevated to sainthood during the same mass. Our Paula Evan is live in Rome for the canonization of Popes John Paul II and John the 23rd. And Paula, it's midnight there, but sounds like the crowds are already getting into place. Bobby, thousands of young people are down in the streets just outside our location here in the shadow of the Dome of St. Peter's. They'll be spending a very chilly overnight on those cold cobblestone streets, but they are singing into the night, uh, enjoying the whole atmosphere of this incredible weekend in Rome. Massachusetts pilgrims that I spoke with said they felt they had to be here. The majesty and significance of tomorrow's canonization has grabbed the world's attention. You're going to see every color, you're going to hear every language, you're going to hear every musical genre. It will all be in the air. It's unbelievable. They're coming from all over the world. This is one of the biggest events Rome has ever had. It's the sheer number of people, two to three million people. Under the watchful eyes of ancient apostles, religious, and soon-to-be saints, pilgrims from across the globe filled Rome to witness history. Lord God, heavenly King. As Cardinal Sean celebrated Mass for Massachusetts pilgrims at his titular church, he praised John Paul, the only pontiff to visit Boston, and John the 23rd, who inspired the seminary named for him in Weston. These were people they could identify with, people that they had seen personally, people that they had known. The dual canonization of the popes is a first of its kind epic event that will be talked about for centuries. What kind of message is Pope Francis saying by having them canonized together? Well, he's probably trying to point out that, you know, that, you know, that it's all the Catholic Church, you know, and uh, both of these men made huge impacts on the church. Keenly aware that each man also faced criticism in his time, Cardinal Sean stipulates saints are human too. So sainthood doesn't mean perfection. It does not mean perfection, doesn't mean that there weren't any mistakes. Uh, and it doesn't mean an endorsement of every decision that they made in their lifetime. Not perfect, but Vatican expert John Allen says the beloved popes of the 20th century will truly enter an exclusive realm. Well, this is sort of a big deal. You know, I mean, this is sort of like the Papal Hall of Fame that these two guys are being entered into. But much more from Paula Evan tonight on WBZ News at 11.